Hey guys, part two of the segmented controller tutorial here. And what we're going to do to start is we're going to go to the top and we're going to get rid of the utilities tray to give ourselves a little bit more room. We're going to scoot this over and now that we have everything established in the header file, we're going to switch over to the implementation or the source code in which we're going to tell the segmented controller to control the image view and show what's on screen with what we program from behind the scenes. And so if you see there's a bunch of gibberish in between here, you don't have to worry about that. We're basically looking for our IB action that was established when we hooked up the image selector. And so you can see down at the very bottom we've got an IB action. It's called image selected. And that's what we named it. And so now we're going to write a simple if statement basically saying if certain part of the uh, if a certain part of the segment of controller is selected, we want that correlation to show a certain image. If this one's selected, we want this to show. If this one's selected, we want this to show. And so that's what we're going to write here is we're going to go if and we're going to so we're going to name our segmented controller here, the outlets. And then we're going to say if the segmented co controller selected segment index, which that's basically saying where am I on that button? Am I at position 0, position 1, position 2? So we're going to say segment dot selected segment index is equal to put a double equal sign if it's equal to zero we want the following to happen and so you can see we have curly braces in here that basically anything that's within there if zero if this if the selected zero segment is is selected we want whatever's in here to take place and so now what we're going to do is we're going to tell that since this is zero and we don't want anything to appear, we basically want to tell that image view that we don't want anything. And so we're going to say UI image and then we're just going to put a little shortcut IMG for that uh, variable and we're going to set the UI image to an image named nothing. So we're not going to put anything in between the quotations there. So we're going to finish that out with the square bracket, semicolon, go to the next line. And now the next line, we're going to tell our image view, which we've named image right here. We're going to set that image to our variable image here. So IMG finish that with square brackets and hit a semicolon. Okay, so we're done with the first segment. So we're done with this none over here. Now what we have to do is we have to write another if statement for the first segment, which is the green, and then also this, the second segment as the blue. So I'm just going to copy and paste that if statement we just wrote. And the only two changes that we have to make is we have to change the segmented index. So in this case, we're going to say is one, and then in here, we're going to name the image that we have in our supporting files. So the, the image that we brought in was called my bring back arrows. And for the segmented one, we want the green image. So we're going to type in green dot PNG. All right, so we're all set for the green image. The next thing that we're going to do is copy and paste it for the second segmented index. And we're going to change the segmented index and the name of the file, which is just my bring back arrows.png. And that's what we've put in there. So you may not have these images, but whatever you guys come up with as far as images, put those names in there. Don't, don't just copy the my bring back arrows because you actually have to pull them into the support files like we did in the last tutorial. So that is, that is the setup. We're going to run it, make sure it works. All right, so you'll go to your third tab here. And we're going to click the segmented area. And so as you can see, we have no image that appears with the first segmented controller. When we click the green, we should have the green image that appears, the blue, the blue image. And finally, we can get rid of all the images by clicking the first segment again. So that is kind of, again, some of the basics of the segmented controller. Again, you can use whatever you want. It doesn't have to be an image. It could be a string or a label or anything else that you guys can dream up of. So I uh, hope you guys are learning. 
a lot. We'll uh, catch you guys in the next tutorial.